Well, you know what they say. All good things must come to an end. Yep, this game right here is getting no more content at all. Beanox have stated this very recently and as heartbreaking as it is, it's 100% true and even I am a bit distraught about this but eh, I guess it saves me a bit of work on those quotes videos I guess and even those winning animations videos but seriously, I was really, really hoping for just a few more bits and bobs but nope. This is like a little over two months after the one year anniversary, you know, the 21st of June, when I was originally going to be uploading those quotes and winning animations videos. But unfortunately, alas, it's not meant to be. And unfortunately, I just ended up winning late this whole freaking time. But, you know, better late than never, I guess. But, yeah, Jesus Christ, on a bicycle. I am just so flabbergasted that it takes Beanox until the start of September this year to let us know normal stuff is being added in but I guess on one hand I'm glad because it saves me a bit of work on these like extra side videos but on the other hand it would have been nice to know about this more earlier eh, I can still enjoy playing the game for what it is but Jesus Christ on a bicycle this is a right model up this but and yeah that's all I came to say, there's normal content being added in. Like, dang, like, I was really hoping for Yaya Panda, Embryo, Hunter, Ganasty, Gnork, Komono Mo, and a whole slew of other characters to get another legendary skin. Even Pasadena or Possum and Fong Clutch as well. Like, Fong Clutch has his pirate skin, okay, and Pasadena or Possum has, like, a special, like, racing gear skin that she has, but unfortunately, nope. They are left bare bones so dry without any legendary skins to ever accommodate that <sighs> like i actually feel really distraught about this like <sighs> sorry <laughs> this is like one of the most disheartening moments i have ever had to witness and as true as it is i just can't get over it i mean but, I guess if I had to look on the bright side of things... Yeah, I know. Some of you are going to be raging because, you know, this game I heard was buggy, but I really only bought it just for backup request purposes, and, you know, I just thought it'd be kind of interesting, and, yeah. It comes with this nice steel case, and obviously you can see what the freaking title of the game is, it's W2K20. It comes with this nice steel case, and I am think I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Oh, I need to freaking get this stupid sticker off. Give me a second. Oh, well thanks for putting that freaking sticker on top of that cellar tape so that I have to rip part of it. Ugh, great, now this case is near mint condition. God, I sound like a comic book guy from Simpsons. Great, my car is now near mint. Even though that impression was terrible, but you know. I know, was it really worth it just to put it in that steel case? Yes, yes it was. <laughs> so yeah, nothing much to say, I just got this game and I just thought it'd be nice to show you some kind of macho wrestling PlayStation 4 game. And one more thing, I mentioned that in vlog number 6 I was going to start doing some video game reviews, but unfortunately that just never came to be. And the hint I gave away was pretty stupid, it was developed by a bunch of monkeys. But I'll just tell you the game anyway just for the sake of it. Garfield for the PS2. Yeah, that is going to be my very first game I am going to review. Ugh, great, what a coincidence, right? Because my first PS2 playthrough was Garfield 2 for the PS2, and Garfield on the PS2 where you clean up the house is my first video game review. Huh, that is a coincidence indeed if I ever saw one. But, you know... One important thing though, I am not going to be recording any brand new footage for the game because, you know, who cares about recording footage for bad games like that? I mean, I might even actually give her a, a different opinion for that game because, you know, I do try to be very optimistic with any game that I play. But, you know, I guess we'll just have to wait until I cross that path and see how the first review turns out. And I'm possibly going to be reviewing a few more down the line, you know, just to see if I'm good at reviewing video games, I mean... It won't be like an 
a current thing, but you'll just it'll just be like sort of like a brand new thing that I might tackle it and see if any of you might appreciate it because you know I'm sure that many of you will love to see me tackle video game reviews, but I'm not just going to be like you know covering like the more popular games. I might do like a few or whatever, but I might cover some like very interesting games in this collection that I don't think have been done nearly as often as others have. You know, some of the more like weird licensed games, you know, just, you know, stuff like that. Just so that it's just like, oh, you know, people could just be like, oh, what is this? I've never seen this game get a review before. Oh, I'll just, you know, check it out. So, yeah, that's what's going on here. Video game reviews are actually going to be happening very soon, but it's just depending on when I actually get around to doing it. I mean, I've got the notes ready for the first video game review, you know, Garfield, but, you know, it's just having to word it in a way where it makes sense in the context of the review on the sheet surrounding it. Dude, stop trying to sound so smart. You sound ridiculous. Well, I guess that's all I have to say, really. See, John Archerfield, I'm so sorry no more content's been added in, but hey, you know. And as for you, you will be my backup, okay? Well, I guess that's all I have to say. Bye. Peace out, guys.